Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to be doing some budget designs. Well, I say budget, but budget is really classified by any amount that you're allowed to spend. So this one's going to be a bit different. I know a lot of people wanted me to do like more expensive cars, so like 4K I've seen a few comments on. Uh, so yeah, today we're going to be doing uh, a 1K credit card, which is kind of scuffed, but uh, hear me out on this. Uh, the other ones will be a lot better. We have a 2k credit card, a 3k and a 4k. So we're only going up in thousands today, not in 500s like I usually do. Um, we're going to be having a lot of cool designs. These designs are going to be half flashy, half tryhard. So if you're a tryhard, you want to look at these. And if you're like a freestyler or you want more flashy cars, you can have a look at this too. So let's get right into the first one. So, our first design is just a little cool colour combination I want to show off. Um, I didn't really want to do too much for the 1k design because I wanted to do a bit more for the 2 and 3 and 4k. Any of you guys who have watched my stream, which was yesterday, I think? Jeez, oh, I can't even remember. Anyway, my last stream, uh, I did all of these designs and this is how I came up with the designs. So, if you want to see the later designs and how I came up with them and stuff I tried out, then make sure to watch that VOD back, it is on my channel. Um, in any case, we're going to be just going through this. So, uh, this is just a nice colour combination I wanted to show. It's like an orange and uh, purple kind of Lakers thing. So we're using the Nissan Skyline, you can really use this on any car though, it looks pretty, pretty good. We have the smokescreen decal, which is uh, only like 500 credits in the shop. And we have the purple Zombas, which is also like 500 credits in the shop. It's like 700, um, I think it's 400 and 600, I think that's how the split is, but I just wanted to show off this like nice little colour combination for the first design. Nothing too major, we're going to be scaling it up in the later budgets, but so uh, yeah, we're just using a standard purple here, and we're just going to be using a laser wave one. You can also use a uh, orange standard if that's more to your liking, and the colours are a purple. And an orange. I think I may want to do this one tad lighter. There you go. That will probably fit better into the design. So that's just one tad lighter on the orange there. And on the other side, we're doing an orange, which is the just the primary orange, and then one to the left, and a purple. So you can do that one up there as well. So that's just all the way to purple, and then one up to make a nice light purple color to match the zombies. And let's move on to the next design. So this is our second design. Uh, we have like a little cobalt and lime and red going on. So it's a tri-color design right here. We're matching the deep six pattern, which has like a star on it. There you go. There's the little five pointed star. And we're going to be matching that to the Veloces. And yeah, uh, this suggestion was done on my stream by Francisco. Shout out to him. He knows who he is. He's probably watching right now. Shout out to you, my dude. He came up with this design, uh, I, tw I tweaked the wheels of it and I think me and my stream came up with the boost and trail as well but the colour pattern was his idea which is a really really cool colour pattern I feel. So we have a green, we have a red, we have a blue which is a really nice combination and yeah so let's get on with the items. <laughs> Damn I'm, I missed the word there. So we have a cobalt painted fennec which is 1000 credits. Um, so this is a 2k credit card, by the way, so we have a 1k credit Cobalt Fennec. Then for the decal, we're using a Lime Deep Six, which costs 550 credits, so it's a pretty, pretty cheap decal to get. Looking this good, uh, I actually thought this was a mystery decal at first because it looked that good, but it's actually just an import, so yeah, you can see how people undervalue the items. Um, yep. For the wheels we have Lime Veloces, so these go for the uncommon variant in 100 credits. Uh, I'm not sure about the prices yet about the exotics, it didn't say, but the uncommon variants are only 100 credits, so really cool Lime wheels to pick up if you want one. For the boost we're using Sparkles in Lime, so that will put you back 150 credits. And for the trail we are using a Crimson Lightspeed. So that will be 300 credits. So all in all, just really, really, really scraping that 2k. Um, 
if you change the trail to like something like the ruckus then you'll be under it if you do have that or any other red trail like the rocket pass ones uh, I just thought this would be a good suggestion, seeing as people ask for suggestions for trails and wheels and everything. So, uh, trails and boosts, sorry. So I just thought I'd add that. But overall, it's around two credits, uh, 2k credits, so that's what we're going with. Let's get on to our third design, which is a cool freestyle design. And for our 3k design, we have like a cool freestyler car. Now, this may not look much on the blue side, but trust me, it's the orange side that counts. Um, this is our 3k car design, so this will cost you 3,000 credits, and let's go through the items. So, we are using a Crimson Dominus, which is worth 1.8k, which is a big chunk of our budget gone already. Um, then for the decal, we are using a CRL Eastern, that's the College at Rocket League Eastern Conference decal, which has like a cool dragon on it, and that will put us back 1.1k, so if you add that up, that's 2.9k already. So you might be thinking, oh no, our budget's gone. But it's fine. It's fine. Trust me, it's all good. Um, so for the paint finishes, we're using a dark blue on the primary, on the blue side. And I'm using corroded metal on this. You can use anodized, you can use anything you really like. So anything that makes it maybe a bit darker. Uh, that's a good fit to use, but any primary on the blue side. Also, if you want something lighter, that's also fine. You can use that as well. Um, as a secretary, we're using a darker orange, which is anodized, to match the gold of the Yarmains. And the crimson matches the little dot in the middle. But this is where it gets cool. We're going to use the orange side. So for the orange side, which is a solid gold, red, black, and... Yeah, solid gold, red, and black card in a way. I added an and there. Kind of stupid. Um, but we're going to be using the darkest uh, yellow to make the gold effect the same as the Yarmin's. You can do it a bit brighter if you want to, if you so prefer. Uh, we're going to be using that with anodized pearls, so we really get like the dark, nice shine from the black there to make the gold a bit darker to match the Yarmin's again. And for the secondary, we're just going to be using a black glossy. So glossy works really good with anodized, because if you use matte, there's like weird little... Um, with little lines you see everywhere, so that's why I'm just using Glossy for this one. Uh, so for the wheels, as I said before, we've got the Yamanes, which are 50 credits! 50 credits, so we're not going too much over budget here. Um, for the boost, we're using just the normal sparkles, because I think it fits really well with the dragon. Uh, if you do have the... if you're not a new player and you do have all the items, something I can... Um, recommend as well if you do not like using sparkles then you can also use the yellow flamethrower uh, where is it there you go so you can also use the yellow flamethrower or the red flamethrower depending on which flamethrower you like more uh, and for the trail we're using crimson 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 tachyon 3 I can't speak today um, and that gives it like a really nice line where this matches the decal and it's a nice crimson color So that's pretty pretty cool And now let's move on to our last design, which is the most expensive one Well, this is what we have as our 4k design now. Let me explain real quick. So Looking at this it looks really cool But there's actually only really a few items that make up the budget now let me explain, right? So I went for a cool dark blue orange white looking car, which looks really sporty and really, I think, pretty tryhard. Like I'd use this car if I had this, like if I had all the items. But I'm poor, so can't use this item. Um, this is the orange side, so we have like a really nice golden glow. Uh, the colors are actually almost the exact same as the last design we had, the 3K design. But as you can see, same colors, very different design. So I'm going, just going to talk you through it. So for the car, we're going to be using a orange octane, which is 500 credits. For the wheels, we're going to be using titanium white daichis. If you do have the daichi oros, which are the legacy item, you can use this as well. Just make sure you tweak the colors just a bit. So like you need to make the colors a bit darker and the um, orange octane, you might want to replace that with a non-painted or with a... Titanium white one if you do have one uh, If you don't not a big problem. You can also use it just with normal wheels. That's also fine um, For the boost we're gonna be going with a titanium white standard um, This is just a recommendation 
not in the budget because the budget is going to be taken up by another item we have on this car. And the trail, I have, just have an orange luminous or any orange trail you can use on this, which is the friction. And then on the decal, we have a titanium white RLCS original decal. Now, this puts us up to the 4k mark. So this decal costs 2.7k credits. That's 2,700, which is quite a lot. So yeah, that's that's basically where all my budget went. But I thought this was a really cool sporty looking car. So I wanted to show this to you guys. And uh, yeah, so for the colors, we have the darkest blue. We have it on grassy to make it look black. Uh, if you do want that blue showing through, you can have it a bit lighter like this, for example. But I chose to go with like a more darkened vibe, seeing as my orange side is also uh, black on the secondary. So that's what I have for my primary. For the secondary, we have a orange, which is just the base orange, anodized to really show off the shiny little white and the shiny orange golden parts of the car. And for the other side, we have an anodized and a glossy as the paint finishes and an orange and a black as the secondary. So yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next one. And peace.